안녕 everyone. Thank you for watching this video. Today I'm here in Hyundai Manila Bay. Please do contact the person in the video if you want to purchase your Hyundai vehicles here in the Philippines. Now, what you see here on my right is the mid variant, which is the GLS variant. And this one is the base variant, which is the GL variant. Now, what is similar for all the variants is that Hyundai is apparently giving 40,000 pesos discount and the SRP is actually higher by 40,000. If you have the means, please do purchase your vehicles or your Stargazers now. This is the middle spec of the Stargazer. It is available for 1,128,000 pesos for its introductory price. Now, what are the biggest differences between the top and the base? Now, this one looks more of the premium. It looks more of the top of the line. But still, it is missing plenty of ADA system or what Hyundai calls Hyundai Safety Sense system. What I think this one should have are the airbags, the side and the curtain airbags, but this one apparently doesn't have. And in front, it looks the same, but it doesn't have the LED headlight system. It has halogen, but still it comes with daytime running light and the light bar that just makes the car look so futuristic in this variant, it's still available. And even the, the wheel design is just the same. So from looking at, from outside at daytime, it will look just the same as your premium. All right, I'm gonna show you the POV style of the entire mid-spec. I'm sure everyone is uh, very curious how it actually looked like or how different does it look like from the premium. So, let's go. This is the front face of the mid variant. As you can see, different from the base, you do have painted uh, front cladding and also around the headlight. And also in the middle of the front bumper has this black gloss design. And on top, the light bar is there. So, it looks kind of similar, but kind of different. And also different here this design right and then you see so what do you think this or the chrome uh, of course I think it's okay at daytime but during nighttime this is boss <laughs> this is boss all right then from the side it has the same rim design as the premium one same suspension, same engine, same braking, same tire size, and everything. So, this is the key, by the way. It's a smart key, same as the top of the line. So, it auto power folds and adjusts, and all the other good stuff. The door handles are in chrome. And since this has smart keyless entry system, it does have buttons on both sides. This one not in your usual square, but it's a bit slanted. Same design here for the rear, drum brick, torsion beam. But we do have shark fin antenna, defogger. Now, unlike the base variant, this will illuminate. This will illuminate. So let me show you that very soon at the back. It's painted in silver metallic. And then that's the rear with the muffler. Thank goodness we have a camera. Thank you, Lord. And there are buttons here for you to unlock. This area uh, is in black gloss. I think you just need to keep the car clean. Third mount brake light. There are sensors, three of them. At the back, just look at the car. It looks like a Staria. Mm -hmm. The creases there, the fenders don't have plastic on them. So this is how the lights look like. By the way, everybody, if I have 
made an influence on your part in purchasing your car, please do put them in the comment section below. I'll be probably posting a community feed in the community tab. Please do let me know if you have purchased or I have somewhat influenced you in buying your vehicle. Please do let me know what model and when. Thank you very much. Now let's get inside with this nice looking key fob. So let's say the doors were closed and then just, okay, that's nice. Okay, starting here in the door panel, now we have some leather here with the stitching. These are plastic and metallic paint. Power folding, same compartments and tray. This nice panometric design, the speaker, and there's also a speaker here. Now the seats have become perforated leather in this variant. And unlike the base variant, we do have this center console and an armrest. Let's turn on the light. They're very cute, like Wally type of cup holder lights. Uh, unlike the premium, we don't have side nor the curtain airbags for this one, but we still do get similar tilt and telescopic leather wrapped steering wheel. Okay, with the key in my pocket, just uh, press it one more time. It looks exactly like the premium, exactly the same, except for the ADAS system and the safety airbags. Automatic lighting, manual windshield wiper, audio controls, and the computer controls. Yes, we do have a lot more controls. What's missing is the tire pressure monitoring system, but it still has cruise control. Mm. I like the size and the feel of the steering wheel very much. See, uh, this area, someone needs to come up with a solution with this, like a Lazada sticker design, like custom, you can do that. Fuse box, this area, I don't know, you can put something there, but I'm not sure which one, but you can. This area, the entire place, you can put a lot of stuff, including here. See, it's well hidden. This area is the same as the base, this one as well here. There's no wireless charge pads. It is the same as the base variant, but this one comes with Echo, Normal, Sport, and Smart. Um, so what I think about this one is that base variant has everything ready for this I mean it's just a matter of having a button but we don't get it in that base variant so that could be one great reason why you might want to get the mid variant instead with 100,000 peso difference uh, what would you get Sun visor is just a standard. Now, if this one has a mirror, then it's a, whoa, see? That's where you, that's like part of your 100,000 peso. Okay. And this one is part of your 100,000 peso as well. See, you have guided huge camera, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. See, you can also put voice memo. Fantastic, right? Fantastic. The IVT here. Traction on and off, this area is still plastic, this one removable, this one has an accent, makes it more expensive also there, and the speaker there. Okay, so other than that, this is a same car. You know, the performance will be the same, but because of the drive modes, I guess it will matter a little. Now let me bring you to the second row. The door panel has the leather, right? This is part of your 100,000 peso. And this one, 100,000. And this entire um, second row and the third row, they're not perforated unlike the first row, but still, um, it is nice. It looks nice. It doesn't look cheap at all. And they do fold and tumble. 
And this one, unlike the base, it does have charge options here. So that's part of your 100,000 peso increase. There is a very low and flat center tunnel. This one for our kids, very usable. Air vents, see, variation with the color, just makes the car look more premium. Mm -hmm. Charge option there. Cup holders, bottle holders, every holders in the world, they have placed it in the Stargazer. Suddenly I had a revelation. For the base variant, there is no tray, no table. Okay, bye. The trunk for the mid variant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is very cool, right? You see, look at the shape. Look at the shape of the trunk. It's quite cool if you ask me. Like a mini vibe where the headlight just stays, but the holes are there. Very easy to fold, really well done, very practical, it's flat. And the base variant, maybe it doesn't come with this. That's why it looks like that. So that's how it looks like. So that's a big difference. There's no cover and this hardware itself is different. Okay, same grocery uh, holders and 12 volt. And other than that, it is a same car. Mm hmm Let's see. Stargazer. The engine bay, same 1.5 liter with IVT. Doesn't have insulation. It's the engine bay. Looks similar with other MPVs out there. But just look at this LED bar. Yeah. Annyeong everyone, this is Ju from Soldier Cars and I'm here in Hyundai Manila Bay. Now I want to like give my honest feedback which one should you buy is it the gl the gls or the gls plus premium uh, it really depends on your budget and also your situation but honestly like looking at them on side by side they do have a few differences uh, if i were to like defend the base yes i can but as as i look at these vehicles more and more i think i have to tell you guys that buying the mid variant is the more um, for me buying the mid variant is a better purchase uh, because this base variant just has too many lacking everyday practical features such as the armrest and even the height adjustment and even the wind the mirror and also the tray and also charge port at the back and the screen and also the camera so 100,000 for me, this one is the best purchase. Like this one, uh, just 100,000. You might want to wait and save up for 100,000 and just get this one rather than this one. But also please to remember that this is just an introductory price and this units already have 40,000 pesos discount applied. So please do for, don't forget that. And please to make the right choice as you purchase your Hyundai Stargazer. What I think an MPV should be is that it should be uh, practical and it should have everyday features and not removed, regardless of what variant. So in this case, they removed too much on the base variant. So they could have, I don't know, adjusted something else because I just don't see the base variant as uh, practical as this mid variant. So, uh, I would like to recommend and advise that 100,000 more expensive mid variant from the base is a lot better than like buying the the top variant from mid. Like you will, I think you will lose more value by just buying the base rather than the mid than buying the mid and not the top. And that's the mid variant of the Stargazer. Now I have the Stargazer. Premium, the GLS, and the GL available in the channel. So please do watch them and share them. I hope I helped you today. Please do contact Hyundai Manila Bay if you want to purchase your Hyundai vehicles. 
man. I'll see you in the next video. Mirror dreams come true. Bye.